Hey everyone, it's Kenny Bostic, and today I'm excited to share that I will be attending the 2023 Lexus RX launch event here in San Antonio, Texas. So I'm going to see all the RXs that they have to offer here at this event and drive them and show my impressions as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what we have here at the event today. So let's take a look at the 2023 Lexus RX 500H. F Sport Performance Package. This vehicle is featured in the Nebula Gray Pearl exterior with a black interior with suede trim. Now, this vehicle features a new Direct 4 all-wheel drive system, which is new on this model. And of course, the taillights wrap around the rear end like the new NX. This is a really beautiful car. It also has the upgraded wheels. The wheels are almost in the same finish as the NX. These would look matte to me. The NX comes with gloss black wheels on the Sport package. You also have, of course, your painted fenders and then the black chrome trim that's exclusive on the Sport performance package. You can also see the badge is also blacked out on the inside. So let's look on the inside of the vehicle. Now, of course, this one has the black interior with the black Alcantara trim. This package is only available on the Sport Performance package. You have your aluminum trim, your upgraded Mark Levinson audio system, the upgraded 14-inch display. You have your parking package along with your 360 camera. And notice how the memory seating is now embedded in here instead of on the door panel. Very interesting how they did that. Of course, it also has the panoramic moonroof as well. Now, most of these models will come with the upgraded triple beam LED headlights. So, of course, you can see that on the front of the vehicle. So, it gives it a really cool look on this model. And, of course, this is the RX 350H Hybrid in Nori Green. Very similar to the other one. The wheels are a little bit different on this one. This looks like it could be a luxury package. The inside is also similar to the last one. And of course you do have the seat adjustment for your legs. So, which this one could be a luxury package. This one also has wood trim on the center versus the aluminum on the S-Sport. And you also have the upgraded Mark Left system, 360 camera, parking package, moonroof, and then the... Now, I don't know which models have the digital review mirror. I haven't seen that yet, but I'm sure that's an option as well. Beautiful Nori green and black interior. And then, of course, we have the RX 350 all-wheel drive F-Sport. This one is featured in the Nightfall Mica exterior. Notice how on this one it doesn't have the blacked out uh, chrome trim that the F-Sport performance package does, so you can still see the white that's right there. But overall, it's very similar on the outside. Obviously, if you know the little details, you can tell the difference. This one also has the upgraded triple beams, the upgraded wheels, And the inside's almost just about identical. The only difference is that it doesn't have that black suede trim that was on the seats versus on the Sport Performance Package. You got your Mark Lev, the screen, parking package, 360 camera, and the Pano moonroof. So which one do you guys like? Do you like the Nightfall Mica? the Nori Green, or the Nebula Gray Pearl. They're all very good looking cars. Let's look at the back. So it looks like some of these models are going to have power folding rear seats. So of course you can fold them down with these buttons right here. We got our cargo area, cargo cover, and of course we can close it and open it. So 
So here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the new 2023 RX versus the 2022 NX. The RX is featured in the Matador Red Mica exterior with the new Macadamia interior versus the NX featured in the Redline exterior and a rich cream Nulux interior. So let's check out how it looks from the back of both of these so you can get a good view of that. So very similar on the back. The taillights are pretty much following the same design language. But of course the RX is going to be a bigger vehicle. Let's check out the interior of this RX. This is the new macadamia interior. I believe this one replaces parchment. So it looks like you have your walnut wood trim, it looks like, or matte wood trim. You know, moonroof, upgraded screen, parking package, 360 camera. This one could also be a luxury. They look very similar. I'll have to see the differences between this and the Premium Plus. And of course, Mark Lev audio system. Both are really good looking cars. We have two USB-C charging ports in the back, heated and ventilated rear seats. Rear sunshade screens, 21 speaker Mark Lemson audio system. So this is our driver attention monitor. So this will monitor if you're looking out of the vehicle or if you're distracted, it will alert you to make sure that you're looking directly at the screen. Otherwise it will send you alerts to um, keep your eyes on the road basically. So that's a new feature that's on this vehicle. Uh, of course we have our two USB-C charging ports right here. We also have two more right here and we have two more in the back seats. I'm sorry, this is a USB-A and this is a USB-C, but in total, this vehicle has six USB charging ports. We also have the wireless charging pad that's right here. And then we have an adjustable cup holder that's right here. So same as the previous RX, you can push it down or raise it back up through here. We have the digital rear view mirror, sunglass holder and pano moonroof. Another thing I want to point out in the back is that this vehicle does also have a spare tire, which of course the NX doesn't have, but this is on the RX now. So you'll see spare tires in all RX models. And of course the interior on the NX, which is very similar to the RX. We have our black prism trim and rich cream with black interior. <laughs> wow. Builds of the 350. We're only going to build the 350H and a 500H one way for now, but that could change over time. Or point out that where that 14 inch screen begins with the premium plus. So when you get the bigger screen, what else do you get? What comes with it? 
Yeah. Uh, I think of three years. The complimentary three years, right? For the Dr. Ryan Connect. Just right. Uh, semi amylin seeds, rear sun shades, weight door trim, all that. Glossy black versus the matte black. Um, and then that far right wheel is an available accessory wheel on the 500H. These are all the colors. So the silver and now is iridium instead of atomic silver. So we have that copper crest there in the middle. Palomino, black. And then this peppercorn is a brownish color, kind of like a noble brown. Uh, but only available on the luxury builds right now. Red and black. Interior trims. You can also get this ash bamboo down here on the left. The standard hybrid is 246 total horsepower, but very smooth and very quiet. 500H goes all the way up to 366. The reason we can get to 366 is uh, unlike the regular hybrid, we still we keep the turbo, right? And we have a new uh, 80 kilowatt battery. So that's how we can get all the way up to 366 horsepower. The 500H has a new system called Direct 4, and it has a new E-axle or electronic axle. And they call it Direct 4 because that E-axle can then send power to the back or the front. So it can actually send power to all four wheels. Hey everyone, it's Kenny Vosick, and this wraps up the 2023 Lexus RX launch event here in San Antonio, Texas. I want to go ahead and give my impressions of the RX in this part of the video. So I did get to drive the RX 350 S-Sport, the RX 350 Hybrid, and the RX 500 S-Sport Performance Package. So after driving all the RXs, I would say that my favorite one was probably the RX 500 S4 Performance. That one just had so much grip on the road. You can really feel it taking charge of, you know, the steering. When you push your foot on the accelerator, there's just so much power there. I did not expect that in that car. And I think that car is really going to do well in the market. I also like the RX 350H. That one has a really quiet interior. That one is pretty much my second favorite because it is a lower price point compared to the 500, but it's still a very smooth ride on that model. Now, I also drove the RX 350 S Sport, which also drives great. Um, that one's probably going to be one of the more popular ones since people are going to be choosing between either the gasoline or the hybrid model. So it will be priced a little bit lower compared to the hybrid model and of course versus the S4 Performance hybrid model. So the RX 350 will be a little bit more readily available compared to the hybrid counterparts because that one will be made into production more than the other ones. So if you do want a hybrid, you will probably have to wait a little bit longer for that model. I did like the RX 350. I will say that I wasn't really used to the four cylinder engine in that model because uh, versus the V6 model, it was a little bit quieter. I will say that the four cylinder engine is a little bit noisier, but you know, that's something that I'm sure most people will get used to when they're driving that kind of engine. So that's to be expected on that model. Now, since these vehicles do have the four cylinder engine, they will have to require premium gasoline versus the regular fuel that's on the V6 model. So that's a big thing to notice. Also want to mention that all these models will include Lexus interface. So that's the same thing like the NX right now, it will have a complimentary for the first three years. Uh, if it has navigation, if it's a non-nav model, you will have to subscribe to that feature. I also really want to see the Copper Crest color, but I didn't get a chance to see it because they didn't have that color. But I did get to see the Nori Green Pearl, the Nightfall Mica, and I also got to see the Nebula Gray Pearl that was on the RX 500 S4 Performance. Not sure why they chose to keep Nebula instead of replacing it with Cloudburst. I just thought that was kind of interesting. But I did also see the new Macadamia interior, which replaces the Parchment interior. That one's a pretty light interior. Uh, it's a little bit lighter than parchment, but you'll have to see it in person. It also comes with a new ash wood bamboo trim, which looks really good with the parchment. The other interiors were a black leather, and of course, the S4 had like black with Alcantara on the S4 performance package. If you are thinking about purchasing a new RX 423, we are expected to get these here at the dealership late November, early December, but that's if you've already placed a pre-order on this vehicle. If you haven't placed an order, I would highly suggest you do that at your local dealership so you can at least get one and see if you like it. If not, you can wait for another one or buy another model. I think that you would have to see it in person to really appreciate it. The pictures don't do this vehicle justice. You really have to just see it in person and see what your impressions are of it. 
I would highly suggest driving it too, obviously. It's a lot smoother than I expect it to be. I have an NX right now and mine's pretty smooth, but the RX just takes it to the next level and I almost wish I waited for that car. Not to mention the seats are a little bit more comfortable in that car. The RX seats are pretty similar to mine if you get the Sport package, but if you get the luxury package, they will be a little bit softer since they use that softer leather on that vehicle. I also wanted to mention that there are four trim packages available. So there's a base, a premium, a premium plus, and a luxury. And of course, there's also the Sport package. Now our dealership is supposed to get the premium and premium plus models and a luxury. So we aren't really going to get a lot of base models in our region from what they were saying. So if you do want a base model, you will probably have to order that. And we will also get F-Sport models here. I just don't know what specs we're going to be getting that for that particular model. I also want to mention if there is anything that I didn't answer in this video that you still had questions about on the 23RX, whether it's trims, packages, or colors, please let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer those questions since this vehicle is pretty new to all of us and we will be getting it here at the dealership sometime late November, early December. So once we do get those cars in person, I will be doing the videos that I can and show you guys what we get here at our dealership. So it's pretty exciting to see that we will be getting these before the year is over. So so if you have placed your pre-order on this vehicle, hopefully you should be receiving it by the end of the year. But overall, the 23RX launch event was a really good learning experience. I got to learn about the RX, the new interface. I'm so happy with how Lexus is moving its products. So hopefully we'll be able to see all the stuff coming to the source soon. Again, my name is Kenny Vosick. I'm a vehicle technology specialist at North Park Lexus at Dominion. So please don't hesitate to ask me any more questions if you have any in this video. But thank you so much for watching, guys. And I look forward to seeing y'all soon.